Now, as Russia gears up for its upcoming 2024 presidential elections, the Russian Communist Party, which is the country's second largest party, has decided to nominate Nikolai Karitonov to run against President Vladimir Putin. Now, Karitonov is no stranger to presidential elections. This is not the first time that the veteran Russian leader is contesting against Putin in race to the Kremlin. He ran against Putin in 2004 and managed to garner only 13.7% of the votes while Putin recorded a landslide victory with over 71.3% of the votes. Karitonov's candidacy has been supported by an overwhelming majority of party members in a secret ballot. However, the ballot only had Karitonov his name, leaving party members with no other options. The decision was taken hours after Russia's Central Election Commission barred independent candidate Yekaterina Dunsova from contesting the election. Now, according to the commission, there were many violations in the papers she had submitted in support of her bid. Meanwhile, hundreds of supporters of pro-war Russian nationalist Igor Gherkin, who is currently in custody, rallied in Moscow to back his bid to run for president. He was detained in July on an extremism charge following a series of posts critical of Russian President Vladimir Putin. In August, Gherkin had announced on social media that he wanted to run for president in March elections. He has repeatedly warned that Russia faces revolution and even civil war unless Putin military start fighting the war in Ukraine more effectively. Russia has cracked down on nationalist critics who have called for much tougher approach to fighting the war in Ukraine. Putin has held continuous positions as the president or the prime minister since 1999 in Russia and this makes him the longest serving Russian or Soviet leader since Joseph Stalin. The Kremlin says Putin will win the next election as well. This is because he enjoys genuine support across society, with opinion poll ratings of about 80%.